ready, but I'll start anyway, so you get the show going. Welcome to the Coral Step Up concert here at Wellesley High School, and welcome to our eighth grade family for joining us here. Director of Performing Arts, and I'm so excited to be here this evening. This is our third, uh, actually fourth concert, a will be our fourth concert, of Step Up. So we had our orchestra concert and our band concert. I also want to thank you for your uh, your flexibility. This concert was supposed to happen before vacation, but we had so much snow that we had to cancel school. And then the Sorry, I would have made the same call. Dr. Lucy, you were right on. I don't know if he's here tonight, but uh, I would have made the same call. But anyways, we are so happy you could adjust your schedules to be here tonight. We're so excited. A few thank yous first. I want to thank our K-12 Performing Arts team. Uh, these students, a lot of them started in our fifth grade choir program, then we've gone to the middle school and now the high school you'll see tonight. We were on our applause for our K-12 staff for all the good time. Thank you. To our Administration, Dr. Ito, Dr. Chisholm, our custodial staff for all they do to get ready for our concert tonight. A round of applause for our staff at the middle school and high school. I also want to thank Dr. Lucy, our central office staff, our school committee, and the community of Wellesley. As I say at every concert, we're so fortunate to have such support for performing arts here in Wellesley. A round of applause for all of our community and community of support. I would be missing that right now, tonight, running the lights and the sound. We are so fortunate to have some amazing students who are running the sound and lights tonight. Would you give them a round of applause? Thank you for your time. The last thank you is for Pops, our parents of performing students. We have a huge event on Friday night. If you haven't got your tickets yet, go online and check that out. Kelly Mara and Melissa Mack, thank you. And Pops, thank you for all you do to support performing arts. Please give them a round of applause. Concert, I was forgetting something, and then all of a sudden, my cell phone went off. Could you just remind yourself to turn off your cell phones, make sure they're on silent? If you're taking a picture or a video tonight, please try not to put it up in the air so that it doesn't block the people in back of you. In the case of an emergency, there are exits at the back of the auditorium, and one over here to your left. Hopefully, that will be okay. Uh, there is no intermission tonight. It'll be moving real that quickly between groups, groups will be coming on and off the stage. If you need to leave the auditorium, we ask that you do so in between selections, and the restrooms are directly across the cafeteria for those of you who are new. Uh, I'm not going to have a chance to welcome them, so I'm going to first introduce, before I introduce the high school groups, uh, I cannot say enough about the duo at Wellesley Middle School. Ms. Valerie Stark, as our piano accompanist, is amazing, wonderful, the support she gives. Thank you, Valerie Stark, for all you do for our students. <laughs> Acknowledge it later. Uh, I'm sure Dr. McDonald will acknowledge her later, but uh, Miss Lauren Connors. The students on the stage aren't here without Miss Connors. All she does is. And without further ado, I know you want to get the, this started. I also have to acknowledge before I introduce our main person here tonight, Mr. Chad Wyrick. We are so, so fortunate to have him at Wellesley High School, and we're going to see all the wonderful groups tonight. Please welcome Dr. Kevin McDonald to the stage.
Good evening and welcome to the High School and Middle School Step Up Choral Concert. Uh, it is going to be a wonderful hour 15 of some fun music and some joy coming from the stage. Hope that you appreciate and enjoy everything that the students have to offer. So this is kind of like a sampler plate uh, as we kind of highlight everything that the high school choral department has for our, all of our wonderful friends from the eighth grade and the ones at middle school. So you're going to see both our curricular groups, but you're also going to have a chance to see our four acapella groups that make up the acapella program that is an after school offering here. So with that, I am going to get out of the way and I'm going to turn this over to Renegade Acapella.
Thank you in coordination. So as concert choir comes and takes the stage, there's just a couple things I want to share with you. First is I mentioned that subharmonics and overtones meet only three out of seven school days at 7.30 in the morning. But then, and those are what we call minor classes here at the high school. Then we have major classes. Major classes are those that meet five out of seven school days. So the group that you are seeing take the stage right now, concert choir, is our first major course within our choral department. But before I have concert choir sing, I want to share with you what I was thinking while I was sitting in, this, in the seats just now, because it kind of hit me, and I just feel like I want to share. This is my 20th year at Wellesley High School. Thank you. And I've been extremely fortunate to be a part of this community and this school, and all of these singers that you see here are representative of all of the students that have come before that over the last 20 years. And as Owen Kelly was up here performing, I thought to myself two things. Number one, I have a very long history with the Kelly family, with his sisters Maeve and Claire. But then I also, it was at this concert five years ago, where you sang a solo, your first solo here on the high school stage. And to watch growth, this is what teaching is all about, and what these concerts are about. Seeing the growth from grade eight to grade 12, where now he's leading an acapella group, writing an arrangement, sewing in front of you as a senior. It's a pretty special moment. So next one. God help the outcasts, and the soloist is not listed in the program, so I want to make sure you know that our soloist is Jamie Hall.
acapella, and we were so excited to be here. I'm Sophie, a business leader. I'm Ava, I'm a music leader. I'm Lucy, I'm a business leader. I'm Lorelai, I'm the other music leader. Today, we will be singing Jolene, arranged by the incredible Ava Marat. And our soloist will be Arabella Hargrave. from Kara Rinaldi and Evelyn Harrison.
So as we move through all of these groups, all of the curricular groups, all of the acapella groups, sometimes it's easy to brush over some of the magical things that have happened at the high school over time. So these Rice Street Singers um, are a jazz choir that has done some incredible things over time. Uh, they, they, this particular group has been featured at the All Eastern Conference in Atlantic City where they perform with the New York Voices down there. We have hosted the New York Voices, a Grammy-winning group, just last spring. I, how many medals are we at? We are at 13 consecutive gold medals at State Festival. And way back when, 20 years ago when I first arrived, I really was very open and honest about jazz was not my forte. So I actually made it the point of doing it for my dissertation so I could do the research that it required so I could learn how to teach this class. And it has just been an incredible ride and they do have a reputation in our state as being the top jazz choir in the, in the state of Massachusetts. So in two weeks' time, they'll be traveling over to Worcester to perform for all of the music educators in the state of Massachusetts, so they can actually perform 10 pieces called a reading packet for, for a reading session for all of the choral directors, so they can try to imitate what our rice cream singers do. So with that, this, these two pieces are from that reading packet. This next one is Every Time We Say Goodbye, featuring Lucy Geller.
check in. Yeah. Yeah. So the Rice Creed Singers are one of two of our select ensembles that meet in the school day. You're about to hear the keynote singers in a short while. Um, but one word about these acapella groups that you have seen coming up and performing in between all of our curricular groups. These groups are primarily student directed. I serve as the advisor to the acapella program and it is an extension of our choral curriculum. Um, and what has evolved from the uh, acapella side is nothing short of fantastic as well. With that being said, in about a week and a half, next Friday, March 8th, is our annual ACA stock right here. ACA stock is a long running acapella festival. When I first came, we had one acapella class and we would bring in five college groups to perform. As we, things evolved, and as our groups continue to grow, we would slowly take one group out and insert one of our high school groups. So we have four of our high school groups that will be performing with two college groups next Friday. Those two groups, and what evolves from what you see here, when I, we say that this is student director, you are hearing they are directing themselves, they are writing their own arrangements, the business managers handle all of the business end, and we work really hard to give the students autonomy to do and select their own repertoire so they can come and do these fantastic performances for you. I said this to the group earlier today. That is why our groups run out of Wellesley High School and normally walk right into their college acapella groups. That being said, the two groups that are coming next Friday are the New York University Mixed Tapes featuring two Wellesley alums uh, Nick Ashraf and Ryan Cologne. And then we also have the Tufts S Factor from Tufts University featuring Wellesley alum Melcher Becker. So these are go it's going to be a fantastic night and you are privy to the information you need. Those tickets will be on sale starting tomorrow. So please buy those tickets, bring your friends, come support what these students are doing. It's going to be a great night of acapella. The last thing I want to say about the acapella program is these students I owe an enormous amount of gratitude. Because they, whether they know it or not, continuously open doors for me as a human being and me as a professional. And from that standpoint, the Rice Street Singers that you just heard opened up a door for me to conduct the New Hampshire Jazz All-State last week, which was a phenomenal experience. And all of these acapella groups that you're seeing up here have given Wellesley High School this reputation for what we do from an acapella standpoint. And I, on this upcoming Saturday, I'll be judging the International Championship of Collegiate Acapella at Northeastern. So if you want to go, so if anyone wants to get more and more acapella, Northeastern has those quarterfinals this upcoming Saturday. Now I'm going to get out of the way so you can hear our last acapella group, and I turn this over. and we are so excited that all of you guys are here. My name is Brady Welburn and I am a business leader. I'm Tristan Gardner and I'm the other business leader. I'm Kate Taplin, one of the music leaders. And I'm Rithik, the other music leader. And tonight we are going to be singing Make You Feel My Love, arranged by Rithik and Kate, and soloed by Rithik. It's by our dad.
ICCA quarterfinals right here at Wolsey High School just a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago, and you would have heard this extremely fantastic sound system that they brought with them. Um, I want to thank the Wolsey Education Foundation for approving a grant earlier in the year that will allow us to use that professional sound system for Akastok next week. So it's going to be a really exciting time for all of our acapella groups to be on individual mics and be able to perform for you in that way. With that, this is our last curricular group, the Keynote Singers. One thing that I've taken great pride in here at Wellesley High School is that we are not just known for one thing. We're known for our jazz choir, we're known for our acapella program, and we're also known for this particular group that's on stage, the Keynote Singers. The Keynote Singers are the, have been asked three times by the Boston Pops Orchestra. The most recent was just last spring in Video Games Live at Symphony Hall. They have earned gold medals at State Festival. They have done lots and lots of things, collaborations with universities. Uh, last year, they did a big performance for the University of Massachusetts Chamber Singers who came and gave us a workshop. And this year, in, in April, they'll be traveling up to the University of New Hampshire. And they've been at, after us for about two years uh, to go up there and join them for the UNH Choral Invitational. So it's a pretty fantastic thing that we have rolling here. So we have two songs for you. Uh, can't take my eyes off you and bridge over troubled water.
And finally, we get to why we call this a step up concert. So we welcome all of our tenants and bases from middle school, all of our tenants and bases from the high school, and we have a nice Beatles tune for you, Let It Be. Check, check, check. And believe it or not, we are moving to the last piece of the concert. Um, last spring, I promised concert choir that I would do a Taylor Swift tune. And I specifically made the promise that I would do it for October. Well, not only did I not do a Taylor Swift tune for October, but I also randomly may have made a joke about Taylor Swift's relationship history, which was not well received by many of our students. <laughs> Though I did say I was very happy for her and Mr. Kelsey. And after all, Taylor Swift did win a Super Bowl. <laughs> so with that, we are going to finish tonight with a Taylor Swift medley and before we do, we have two wonderful human beings that have now joined us on stage that are hiding behind. And I, before this uh, concert kicked off, I looked at everybody up here on stage and I said, they all have something in common. What every single student here has in common is they are all the beneficiaries of the amazing instruction of both Ms. Connors and Ms. Stark. One of my favorite catch lines are things do not just happen. They happen through good instruction, starting in our elementary schools through our middle school. 
and then finally here on stage. And this is a beautiful sight, is it not? If you were one of the people that stood out in the rain at Gillette Stadium for the entire Taylor Swift concert, it's a lot drier in our auditorium, and you probably know the words. Feel free to join along. I was so excited to perform Taylor Swift. <laughs> First, Carly Simon. Here we go. We're coming to the edge, running on the water, coming to the fog, your sons and daughters. Maybe some of you knew that one and sang along as well, but now Chris Taylor Swift. Here we go.
end. so much to help us understand the music and perform it with perfection, so we appreciate everything you do. Next, we'd like to thank Ms. Connors. We appreciate how grateful and how much gratefulness and kindness you showed us all. We really appreciate how much you've done for us, and we're really going to miss you. We can't imagine how our lives would be without you.